Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through our stage one special red simulator we built for MacTrack. So it's MacTrack's a company that we've been working with. They actually built our trailer to move our sims around and they did ask me for a sim for their man cave area in their workplace. So uh, we're going to go through what we built for them today. So what we have on the system we've built for Matt Track is a Simagic Alpha Mini wheelbase. It's tucked in under here. Coupled that with a Simagic GT1 flat bottom steering wheel. You see it's got really nice buttons there, flappy paddles there. And of course, our very own homegrown jig shifter made by Simon in Queensland. We're quite proud that we use this shifter. It is a replica V8 supercar sequential shifter and is, yeah, it's pretty good. It's amazing. His machine work, his, uh, his design, really happy to have that on the rig there. Coupled with a Simagic handbrake, in case you want to do some Simagic drift action or rally action, just grab that. So, because the rig was red, we decided to powder coat the red VNM pedals just to make it match with the rig. I think it looks quite smart and blends in with the whole thing. What we did here with our wind system is we wanted to try move the monitors a little bit lower to get it more uh, center line of the eyesight. So we reversed our wind sim. We put that underneath and that's actually given us more room to lower the monitors right next to the front mount there. So yeah, actually looks really nice. Screen nice and low. The dash is right there. So if you now get into the car, the dash is where it's supposed to be. My eye level is right in the center and everything looks like a, a normal one-to-one -one scale car. So yeah, um, I won't attempt to drive this car because yeah, Asians and V8s don't mix. So out the back here, we've done a really good job on wire management. Our signature cable tidy box up the top there. Really nice cable sleeving here. All the USB cables from the machine get loomed up into this one loom here. The monitors are separate loom, so we can separate them at any stage there. We've gone the extra mile with the G2000s and turn the LEDs to red as well, just to match on the, the whole theme of things. So yeah, everything's nice and neat. When we just take it into our client's place, all it needs is one power cable and you're done.
so there you have it. We've um, finished our Stage 1 Pro build now for Mac Track. We're going to install it on Tuesday. Hope they enjoy the, the racing sim and, and get hours of fun out of it. So um, if you want to know more, check out racecraft.net. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.